half <clears throat> of all low-wage workers have little or no say over their schedules. Think about that for just a minute. 20 to 30 percent of low-wage workers get called in at the last minute. Uh, others are sent home. If once you get there, it turns out not many people came tonight to the restaurant or not many people showed up at the store. Uh, people are asked to work split shifts where they work three hours in the lunchtime and then work again for three hours at the dinner hour. Think about what that means for families who are living on the economic margins. If you really have to budget down to the last penny on how much money you've got coming in and where that money is going out, how do you do that when you don't know how many hours you're going to have next week? How do you do that when you don't know if you're going to be called in? How do you schedule child care if you don't know if you're working tomorrow or next Tuesday or next Friday? And how do you ever get ahead? If you have a schedule like this, how do you go back to school part-time and try to increase your, your education level so you can get a better job? How do you work a second job if that's what you need to do to be able to close the gap? Scheduling matters. And so this is why I've been working on a bill that we call Schedules That Work for working families, trying to give working families just a little bit more leverage in the workplace so they've got a little more opportunity to get schedules that work for them.